Let's run through these just based on first impressions looking at their stats. Uh, this Winker honestly looks like he's going to be worse than his live series for what most players were using him for, which was a bench bat with a good inside edge would basically make him a, a righty killer. Because if you look at his live series today, actually, he is really benefiting from that plus 15 contact and power versus righties versus the monthly award one, which does make it so you don't have to platoon him at least, which is nice and it does improve his fielding. Essentially, if you wanted to use Jesse in your every game lineup, but did not want to deal with um, having like to platoon him the second there's a lefty on the mound or later in games when defense starts to matter, the new one alleviates that, but it's at the cost of being able to murder right-handed pitching. Not bad by any stretch, just not, not what we were expecting. We were, I think most people were expecting double 125 on the right-handed hitting stats. So, seems a little bit anemic. What? What? Who? Why? No, what? What is. 49 contact? V right? 49. 49. Like, 4 9. I. I. But. I don't, yeah, cool. He has 105 power V right, but that's a needle point PCI on every difficulty. No, honestly, like, and he's, if he was a little bit faster, maybe is a weird meme type player. But the fact that we got this instead of Nicholas Castellanos is sad. Yeah, it's sad. Sad. Honestly, the Sauce and Meadows card, not a bad little bench bat to kill righties. Like, his contact's not great, but if you're, like, a budget, lower money spent player, and you need a bench bat that can come in and hit some power versus righties, you can do a lot worse than this, honestly. Uh, speed isn't that great. Probably won't actually want to play him in the field. But, again, not bad. Like... He resembles Jesse Winker's live series card. He's got a specific role and he's pretty good at it. What an odd, odd hitting stat split we have here. Got really good 116 contact versus righties, and I got 115 power versus lefties. So on higher difficulties, he's gonna be a little bit better versus the righties because I'll have a nice big PCI. But he can also slam some meme-worthy home runs versus lefties. I don't know. First base is a pretty crowded position. So I don't know. Like, even if you're not... Like, I don't know how you justify using him over Vlad from last month. Because obviously you're going to face more righties than lefties on the mound. And Vlad has better vision too, which will help you get more bat on ball. Like, I guess if that... Fielding really matters to you, then, then maybe, but I don't know. This Braves, like, the odd stat makeup is odd. Again, he's not bad. He's good enough that if you are a fan of Jose Abreu, it's not like I'm going to say, oh, you're, you're kneecapping yourself to use him. It, it's nothing like that. He is a usable player, which for these monthly awards cards is nice. Okay, I, I know... He's not part of the monthly awards, but, you know, I just kind of wanted to, 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 to bask in the insanity that is this juice Carlos Santana. He, he's like a more powerful Posada that's significantly faster and a little bit better fielding. I don't know. I don't know if he's worth the 75 to 80k that he is at the time of recording this. But, man, I got, I got... I'm sure a lot of people have been playing this game for a few years. Got some memories about past versions of this card that just... raked for them. So, I don't know. We'll see how he does. I 
called this card. And and I just yeah, pat myself on the back for this one, but I called this. All the way down to the meme worthy power versus right, which does not sound right for a Brandon Crawford card at all. Like it just my my brain does not someone says Brandon Crawford, I don't think power hitter. I don't think amazing hitter, period, end of story. I think amazing glove and his bat's not horrendous. Um, this card is actually surprisingly usable. You probably want to platoon him against lefties. So you probably want to keep... Uh... Oh, you probably want to keep a guy like... I say, if you got Tatis, you're just going to use Tatis instead. Uh, you probably can keep a guy like Trey or Xander Story to platoon with him. Because that 48 contact is not pretty, but everything else on this card is pretty solid. Pretty solid. Actually, we'll come back to that. We'll come. Uh, we'll come back to that. Oh God. We'll come back to that. This is an odd duck. His pitch selection is okay. His per nines are okay. His individual pitch control and break are above average. I just don't see this card being one a 94. He doesn't look like a 94. And two, I don't see him making rotations as if he was a 94. Also, it's it's kind of ironic that SDS uses the um Struck out 36 batters in his last three starts of the month and then gives makes K per nine his worst stat. I don't know. Seems a little bit fun. I mean, again, not bad. You could do a lot worse. Uh, he's a not horrific at the plate versus righties. Like, he's not DeGrom, but he's also better than flailing around hopelessly in the dish. We'll be back in a minute, Kluber. <clears throat> Other odd duck here. I actually completely forgot about the month that uh, Tapera was having. I Obviously, the hit per nine is really good. He's usable. His control's decent. His walk per nine is decent. His break is above average on his pitches. His The order his pitches are... Like, if that two seam was a sinker, this card would be in basically every bullpen for... Yeah, the next few weeks to a month. But as it currently stands, no outlier, no sinker, and his second pitch is a two seam. I, I think you'll see this card, but I don't think you're going to see it as much as those per nines would make you think you would. God. Why? Why are we here if not to suffer? He's back, chat. He's back, community. Just when you thought we had escaped from Uber Madness. I, it, yeah, it's like Terminator 2. It, we're, we're in T2 now. He's back. That one is even worse than before. 111 hit per nine as a base. Look at those pitch stats. 99 control on the cutter and the slurve. And wait for it. Oh, look. The slurve has 99 break. Aren't you? Aren't aren't you? Aren't you also excited to to face this card again? I'm so excited. Can't can't you tell by my voice how excited I am? I've never been this sad for a pitcher to have thrown a no hitter. Oh, 
All oh, right, and then there's a Marcus Simeon card too. Like, it, yeah, it's fine. Not really though. I it's it's a solid card. I had guessed before they um, before we saw the stats for this that it would resemble the Kyle Seager uh, that we got at third base a few weeks ago, and with the exception of the contact versus right being significantly higher, that's kind of where this is at. It's the jack of all trades card. Like he has really good contact. Good enough power, good in the field, decent enough arm, not horrifically slow. Uh, it is worth noting though, they did change his primary position to second base on this card. So I think that actually makes him a little bit more viable. Cause I mean, if you look outside of Jackie, uh, second base is probably the thinnest position right now. Like you go straight from Jackie down to guys like Craig and Mazeroski. I mean, not everyone's gonna have Soriano, and then you're or you're playing guys at secondaries. For a shortstop, like you've got Groshans, you've got Cal, you've got Ernie, Mauricio, Tatis, uh, Chipper at secondaries, Justin Turn like him being secondary, or rather second base is his primary, I think makes this card a lot more usable than it otherwise would have been. So I'd say the program's worth doing. Like between Marcus and God help us Cluebot, I think the rest of the program is kind of underwhelming. Like Crawford's fun. Winker makes the card more usable and consistent. But yeah, like it it's God, he looks so smug in that in his his player model. I think it's got some fun, usable card. Okay, well, it's got some fun, usable cards, and then it's got this thing. I don't, please don't do this again, SDS. Please, like, next, what is next month going to be Kershaw? Someone go check on Kershaw. He better not be pitching well this month. I, I don't think I can relive MLB 19 and 20 at the same time. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, have fun grinding the program. Have fun with Simeon and uh, the other cards. Thanks for tuning in.